This is gonna be a good day. Online learning. We're gonna shout hooray. Let's go. Online learning should be pretty quick. It's so easy, it's just like taking a pic. Better get your work done or else it'll be missing. But I've been looking to say that you don't listen. Right now, you gotta work fast unless you really just don't wanna pass. Every day, the work will get harder, but once we're done, we will be even smarter. Today, learn about probability you will. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 7,000 of learning. I brought my daughter, Jolene, along. Say hi, Jolene. Hi. And today, she's going to be helping me with this lesson. So today, what I wanted to talk about is using probability to make predictions about how often an event will occur should you carry out an experiment and continue with an experiment. Now, I'm using, for as an example, I'm gonna be using these cubes uh, for this game. And we have 10 cubes in total. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting it in a hat and randomly drawing a cube out of a hat. And if you get yellow, you win. Now, what are the chances of winning? Now, since there are 10 cubes, um, and three of them are yellow, you would have a three in 10 chance of winning. So that's the three in 10 chance right there. Now, if I played this game 20 times, the question would be, well, how many times would I expect to win? And based on three out of 10, we can use an equivalent fraction to see that, well, if I played it 20 times, I would get six or I should get around six. It's not for sure because we're dealing with probability here. And you get that by doubling the numerator and the denominator to get an equivalent fraction. And if I played the game 30 times, okay, I would get nine out of 30, or, or I would expect to draw yellow randomly out of a hat nine out of 30 times. And that's because I've multiplied the three times three and the 10 times three to get the nine out of 30. Now, that's what we call theor theoretical probability. What should happen in theory, okay? But that might not necessarily happen in real life. So what we're going to be doing today is we're gonna be um, calculating probabilities based on an experiment. So we're gonna be calculating the experimental probability of uh, different games. So we're gonna do one with uh, where I put all these cubes in a hat and then I draw one at a time randomly um, with replacement. So I'll draw one and then put it back in the hat, shake it up, and then we're gonna draw another one and we're gonna record how many times we get red, yellow, and green. And we're gonna play this 10 times because I wanna see, um, to win this game, I we're gonna make the rule, if you draw yellow, you win the game, okay? So we wanna draw yellow. So if I, if we draw, if we, do this experiment 10 times, we should see yellow being drawn roughly three times. It doesn't mean for sure we're gonna get it, but it should be around that. And based on that, we're gonna make some uh, predictions. Okay, you ready, Jolene? Yep. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing these cubes uh, 10 times, and we're gonna keep a record here of uh, which ones are drawn. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the hat I'm wearing, so all these cubes are going to go in the hat. I'm going to shake it up. All right, so Jolene, take one out. And the first one is a yellow. All right, put it back in the hat. Mark down yellow. All right, so one yellow. Now we have to conduct this experiment 10 times. All right, draw another one. Yellow. Okay, now draw another yellow. Mark another yellow. Shake it up again. You can't see them, right? What? How are you getting these yellows over and over again? Okay, yellow. Am I the I guess you are. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, yellow. Write down yellow. 
All right, she's already beat, beaten the odds. Hold on, let me shake it up. You can't see these, can you? No, I didn't think so. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, yellow. All right, one, two, one, two three, three, four, four five. five. Okay, so five. Hold on, hold on, let me shake it up. Okay, go. Green, aha. All right, so. You're not super, super lucky, but you've beaten the odds already. So we've drawn it six, six times. We're gonna, we're gonna figure, we're gonna have to do this four more times. Yellow, good job. Yeah, she can't see in it. Hmm. All right, so what are we at? One, two, three, what is that? I gotta, yeah, six, seven, three more times. Wait, I think you looked there. Did you cheat on that one? No, I'm... Okay, yeah. fine. Then I'll give it to you. All right, go. Yellow. One more yellow. All right, now two which more... One, which one? Which color is bad? Uh, well, no color is bad. You just want yellow to win. Okay, go for it. Unbelievable. And she's looking the other way. Go for it. Yeah, write down yellow. Incredible. Because you should actually be picking red much more often. In fact, half of the time, because it would be 5 out of 10. All right, so we need one more. Unbelievable. Okay. And she is. Look at her. She's looking the other way. Unbelievable. Okay. Put that there. Five. Nine out of the possible 10 times she drew yellow. That's incredible. All right. So you've really beaten the odds here. I wasn't expecting this. So on my computer, I would, whoa, I don't want to drop this. We would have nine out of 10 times. So she was expected to draw three, um, well, draw yellow three out of 10 times, okay? But she ended up getting nine out of 10, which is amazing. How did you get so good at it? Um, I guess. You can't get good at it. You're just really lucky. I don't know how you're so lucky, but you were really lucky on this one. Okay, so she was able to get 9 out of 10 there. So if Jolene was able to, I guess, extend this game and play this game 20 times, how many times would we expect her to win the game based on her experimental, based on the experimental probability? So the experiment there. So the denominator would be 20. Let me just write 20 in there two oh great two zero it's hard typing this with and holding this camera at the same time okay so since i multiply 10 by 2 to get 20 you do the same thing with the 9 so 2 times 9 is 18 okay so the answer would be if jolene played this game 20 times you would expect her to win 18 times by drawing yellow 18 times in a similar way she would have drawn one out, well, one green out of the 10 times. So if we had to do uh, a probability to represent how many times she would draw green, um, since it was one out of 10 over here, uh, green would be two out of 20. But again, we're only talking about yellow here because that was the condition that we wanted, okay? So if she were to play this game 20 times, it would be 18. She would, we would expect her to win 18 times. Now, if she wanted to play, if we asked her to play this game 30 times, okay, I'm just gonna do this right here, three, zero. All right, so if we got her to play 30 times, then we would have to multiply nine times three, because we did 10 times three equals the 30, so three times nine, 27. All right, so we would expect her to draw yellow 27 times out of the 30. All right, for the next experiment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, using a basketball net and shooting some hoops to calculate um, some probabilities here, okay? All right, so we're going to go to the indoor basketball net right now. Stay tuned. Okay, for the second part of the video, we're going to see how many times Jolene can score a basket if she shoots five times from this spot. Okay? Alright, go for it.
All right, so she got the first one in. One out of one. Go. All right, so she missed her second shot. One out of two. All right, you got two out of three. That was in. Three out of four, last shot. All right, so you got three out of five. Not bad. And we're back. So Jolene just shot her baskets and she was able to get three out of five in. Okay, so three, she scored three in the basket and missed two. So that would be three out of five. So if I asked you how many times would you expect her to score if she shot 10 times, you would write an equivalent fraction. So we took the three over five I multiplied five by two and got 10. So I would do the same thing to the numerator with the three. I multiply it by two and then I get six. So I would expect her to shoot six out of 10 in. Now, the other question I have is, well, what if she played this or took 50 shots? How many would you expect her to get in? So what I did was I multiplied five times 10 to get 50. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. So three times 10 will be 30. So if she took 50 shots, we would expect her to get 30 shots in. Now this, this doesn't mean that it's going to happen for sure, but the chances are based on the initial experiment where she got three out of five in, that she would get 30 out of 50, okay? So today's work is gonna involve um, just converting fractions to, uh, well, some decimals and, and finding equivalent fractions to make predictions about uh, the likelihood of an event happening should you can, uh, carry out an experiment uh, more than a few times, okay? All right, I'll see you guys later. Say bye. Bye. This is going to be a good day. Online learning. We're going to shop hooray. Let's go. Online learning should be pretty quick. It's so easy. It's just like taking a pic. Better get your work done or else it'll be missing. But other people can say that you don't listen. Right now, you got to work fast unless you really just don't want to pass. Every day, work will get harder. But once we're done, we will